Hey everyone, this is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Borick. If you enjoy the content, subscribe below or up top at the easy to use widget at the end of the video. This is going to be the unfortunate reaction to the Red Sox losing the series in six games to the Astros down there in Houston after a heck of a performance from Nathan Evaldi. And he was able to perform really well in this game and really pitch after having a obviously bad outing out of the bullpen that in my preview to the game I said I would excuse because he hasn't pitched out of the bullpen that much he shoved it he got out of the inning there and really got out of trouble unfortunately the offense wasn't able to pick it up as the Red Sox lose 5 nothing. but we'll get into that soon this team just collapsed in this series uh, point blank not the pitching as a whole because in the game on Tuesday when they were able to actually or when the Red Sox lost 9-2 to to the Astros, you had in that game, of course, Nick Pavetta shove for five innings and give up only one run. And then in the game on Wednesday, you had Chris Sale step up and only give up two earned runs, but unfortunately the bullpens in both of those games couldn't pick us up. Brazier had a bad game when it came to the Wednesday performance, as well as Martin Perez had a bad game. And when it came to Tuesday of this past week to try to pick up Nick Pavetta, you had Evoldi had a bad game, but Martin Perez also, who had back-to-back bad game, and then Whitlock had a very rare, he actually gave up a run. So for the Red Sox, it was really after Game 3, they were able to smash them 12-3, to play really well, winning Game 2 as well. After back-to-back good performances, it was repeated, repetitive back-to-back-to-back putrid performances that were able to damn them. It was bad play by the bullpen and bad play by the offense, just not being able to generate anything. In the 12-3 game on Monday the 18th, that was, of course, Game 3 of the series that the Red Sox were able to win. That was when they had in that game... Uh, Eduardo go and actually pitch a solid six innings and give up only three runs. So the offense wasn't able to always pick up the starters, but the starters actually pitched out in the series. Sale pitched fine. Evaldi pitched very good as a starter. And then, of course, Erod pitched fine in this game as a starter. Uh, luckily, in this game, he was able to get the offense, and the Red Sox were able to win uh, 12-3. to And then in the second game, they were able to win 9-5 to as they were able to get the offense as well in that game. As in that game, they were able to get the offense for the aforementioned Nathan Avoda, who pitched solid five and a third, gave up three runs himself. So in this game, the Red Sox played very close in the first game, in the, or in the series, excuse me. They played very close in the first game and unfortunately lost a game that came down to the wire. Uh, Kike was able to bring it closer in the ninth, but of course there was a sack fly that ended up being the deciding run because of the Kike um, hit there the sack fly in the eighth, and then Carlos Correa's big home run in the seventh that was able to give them the lead at that point. And then when it came to the nine five tilt, the key players for the Red Sox in that game, minus just the good pitching, when it came to Nathan Avaldi pitching five and a third innings and shoving really good, you had Martinez hitting the grand slam, you had Devers hitting the grand slam, so you had grand slams galore. And then that continued as we went into the 12-3 game that, of course, again, the Red Sox were able to actually pick up runs this time for Erod, who pitched a good six innings and gave up only three runs. They were able to have a grand slam by Kyle Schwarber and a couple key singles by Christian Vasquez as well. And then J.D. Homers and uh, Devers um, Homers really to just supplant it and put it away. But then that's where everything just went downhill from there. Nothing good to really speak after that except for when it comes to the starting pitching, as I said, because we already talked about it. On Tuesday's game, uh, the Red Sox, they had their starter actually shove. They had Nick Pavetta pitch a good five innings. They couldn't pick him up. Evoldi the bat out of the pen and Perez the bat out of the pen. Evoldi's not accustomed to pitching out of the pen, obviously, since a couple years ago when he did really good on the run to the World Series. But he didn't do well in that game. Perez didn't do well in that game. And then when it came to the offense, they were absolutely flat, just as they were in Wednesday's affair. That we already went over that they weren't able to pick it up and get going for Chris Sale. And then, of course, just as they were able to not get going for Nathan Avaldi in this game, as he was able to get out of the inning, 
and then shove it again and actually pitch really well into four and a third and probably could have got potentially through the fifth, but you don't want to put him up against the heart of that lineup. Again, the big coup, Kahuna and Alvarez that he really couldn't get out. So it makes sense there. But then Hoke struggled in this game, a young pitcher that's going to be successful for our Red Sox going on years on end, but he struggled a little bit in this game after having a four-something ERA coming in in the playoff. So that's not what you wanted to see. And then Adam Adovino, who just hasn't been oh so impressive that much with Boston all season, whether it's the postseason or the regular season this year, someone they should just get rid of, was not impressive. So the Red Sox, obviously they came out, they competed in the first game, lost a close game, did very well for the next two, and then all of a sudden just lost it. You, I don't know how to like figure it out. They just lost everything from their momentum. They had nothing, which is weird because you, you don't usually see a team win 12-3, to win 9-5, to and then all of a sudden just lose it, get beat 9-1, to get beat 5 to nothing, and then, of course, before that, get beat 9-2 to on the Tuesday game. Normally, you don't see a team play very competitive game one, win 2-3, and three, and then just suck. And that's exactly, of course, what happened in the series, unfortunately, for, for Boston and us fans, that they were not able to perform and not able to get into the World Series. But the thing I have to say on the flip note to end this reaction is, of course, nobody expected many experts and many syndicates to not expect the Red Sox to be this good and this productive to even get to the CS this season. So at least we got there. It's just really hard to stomach this series because the starting pitching did shove and did pick it up enough. The bullpen, unfortunately, when needed the most, when they did well enough up until now in the postseason, did not do good, obviously, after Game 3 on they didn't do good in four five and six and then the offense just fell flat and was absolutely barren and just did absolutely nothing and that is the culprits for losing this series i feel bad for pavetta i feel bad for sale and i feel bad for evaldi because they really did continue to shove and do their thing so this has been a reaction to the red sox having an unfortunately disappointing series as they lose four to two in six games obviously to the astros down there in houston it was a good season, though, overall for the Red Sox. Thanks for the good season. I will talk more about that and the positives because it's hard to talk about that now when it comes to the season recap about how this team exceeded expectations. But this was a tough series to stomach. They didn't pick it up for the starting pitchers, and they did not pick it up. Uh, the bullpen did not pick it up enough for their starters either, but it was mainly the main culprit was on the offense. That would be the number one culprit in conclusion in this video so peace out everybody subscribe if you enjoy the content down below up above on the easy to use widget um thank you for the good productive season up to obviously the series red Sox. it was a season that exceeded expectations but hard to talk about the positives now i'll get into that more on my season reaction video that'll come out either the beginning of next week or sunday peace out everybody stay safe and enjoy the rest of the playoffs if you do choose to watch them peace